mayor-elect's declaration that the con conversation about the streetcar is over, supporters still plan a full court press to keep it on track. That means lobbying, possible lawsuits, perhaps a voter referendum. Nine on your side, reporter Tom McKee is live with who is behind that effort. Tom? Well, Clyde, there are dozens of over the Rhine residents, business owners, and people who want to invest right here along the streetcar route. Now, they've organized a town hall meeting for this Thursday night to plan their next move and say the next 20 days are very critical for them. We're here today to keep the conversation going outside of political rhetoric and partisan politics. That's Ryan Messer, over the Rhine resident and investor, leading the charge to keep the streetcar from being derailed. Simply put, the streetcar is a component of Cincinnati economic development. In other words, if you build it, development will follow. Consider the case of Karen Hughes. She and her husband left Marymount to live in the Over the Rhine because of the streetcar. We knew that Cincinnati was now finally blossoming as the urban center we knew it could be. Their plans include opening a business near Finley Market, but now wonder if that might end up as an opportunity lost. Without the streetcar, this area will not see new development as people like us will not risk our life savings to open businesses there. Work on the streetcar tracks continues at breakneck speed on Elm Street. City leaders say they lose at least $25 million in money spent if the work stops. But supporters say that's way off the mark. Roughly speaking, cost to cancel $100 million, maybe more. We would be giving up $287 million in return on investment. We will have endless litigation, broken promises, a loss of reputation, and damage to our brand as a city. Late this afternoon, Mayor-elect Cranley had this to say about keeping the conversation on the streetcar going. I feel strongly that the streetcar is not worth the investment. Obviously, citizens who care for the streetcar have every right to speak out and continue the conversation. Now, if that sentiment prevails, there are lawsuits and a voter referendum possible. Well, the town hall forum I was mentioning is Thursday night from 7 to 9 at the Mercantile Library, 414 Vine Street, downtown. Now, coming up new at 6, one couple's fears that canceling the streetcar could hurt them a great deal financially. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in the Over the Rhine. Thank you.